So I have a list of items here with a cost and a quantity of how many were bought and I would like to know the total amount sold. So what I could do is multiply each one of these together and then do a grand total here or I could use something you called sum product. Let's just do it the longer way and there may be times where you actually do want to do this. I'm going to multiply these two together. I'm going to use my autofill to copy that down and then I'm going to use my auto sum. So I'm on my formulas tab here. Click on auto sum and it gives me that total. However, some product will take that column there, that column there, multiply them together and add them up for me. So I can find it under math and trig here or I can click on my insert function here in the formula bar and when I do I can look under math and trig which it is on that category right now and I can come down and find it here. There it is. You know you can just actually go into here and search for it if you can't remember what category it's under. Click on go and there's some product and click on OK. Which now takes me through this and I can have up to 250 different arrays. You have to have two. So they have to be the same kind of shape. So I'm just going to highlight that. I'm going to click on this one and highlight that. It's now going to multiply them together. You can see here it's given me a result which happens to be the same as that. So I can click on OK. If I had a third column I could highlight that and fourth and so on. And you can see each time I click in them it adds another one and I can just scroll down to see all the others. If I don't use them it just ignores them. So if I click on OK now you'll see it has done all of that work in one go and there you can see the formula in my formula bar.